Hey everyone. Hey, so today I just wanted to give you guys kind of a, a long-term update on my uh, dual liner, uh, truck bed liner. So I, uh, what I mean by long-term is uh, if I had this for about maybe three years now. So uh, I was looking around for reviews like this when I first bought it. So hopefully this will be out there uh, and you guys will find it useful and help out a few people that are looking at this particular bed liner. Okay, so like what I said here, if I had this about three years, so this is the dual liner uh, bed liner, and uh, it is a combination of a uh, hard plastic shell liner that kind of drops in, it snaps in place. There's three main plastic pieces, a side piece here. It's really uh, pretty thick, heavy duty stuff. It snaps in place. There's cutouts um, for the holes that are for your truck. Um, and the tie downs and then there's a front piece up here that uh, fits in place the same way to snap in and then a side piece here that snaps in and then the cool thing about this and why they call it the dual liner is because it, it incorporates a combination of the plastic hard uh, snap in and the thick rubber uh, mat so it's a combination of a, um, a rubber mat and a plastic so one thing I really like about this is I mean if you can take a look at how thick that is it's really thick heavy-duty stuff um, I've done firewood in this thing I've thrown all kinds of tools uh, bikes uh, I've slept in the back of this thing when I have my soft topper on uh, it is, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's dirty right now, but man, this thing has held up amazing. So I wanted to make this video because I've also had, my previous truck had a spray in bed liner, and I wanted to talk about what I felt in terms of uh, the difference between the dual liner and the spray in bed liner. All right, so the, the spray in bed liner, I think from a perspective of like, I never really thought about bed liners, but it, man, they look great when you spray them in. And uh, they are, they're very, uh, they're grippy. It seems like a great idea. But, uh, you know, I had a bed liner in my, my other truck uh, that was a spray in bed liner. And uh, I can tell you, it was a name brand one. It was one of the big ones. I think it was a Rhino or Linex. I can't remember, to be honest. Uh, but it was not, uh, it didn't hold up the way I thought it would. So with the spray in bed liner, I don't have no spray and bed liner in uh, my old truck to show you, but when I would put things in the bed and maybe throw a generator in there or some wood in there, uh, it would uh, the, the 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 spray and bed liner was durable, but it would dent the bed. This I throw something in it; it's not denting anything. This is incredibly thick stuff. You can take this thing out. You can pull it out. You can clean the bed. You can put it back in. Whatever. Uh, it's. I felt it was superior to the to the spray and bed liner because with the uh, spray and bed liner, you know, if it got chipped or something or a piece of it kind of, I think one time I threw a chainsaw in there and it kind of grabbed some of the the uh, bed liner and kind of peeled up some of it. Uh, it's it's like you can get it repaired, but then you got to bring it somewhere and you got to get it, you know, fixed and all this stuff. I've never had a problem with this bed liner for that. So. Uh, I would definitely think if I was buying a new bed liner out there right now, I would definitely go for another one of these dual liners. Uh, this is really stick. It, it, it's it's not sticky, but you put something on here and it stays on here. It doesn't move around, uh, which I love that, and that's what I liked about the spray and bed liner. Um, I've had plastic, uh, or I've, actually I haven't had it, but I've known guys that've got the the plastic bottom snap in and stuff just slides around everywhere. Uh, the other piece that comes with this is the tailgate. I forgot to tell you this. Uh, it is a, um, a, it's a little bit different plastic uh, than this. It's the same thickness and everything, but it has a little bit of a, um, I don't know if it's, it's hard to explain. Maybe a kind of a rub, it's not a rubberized, but it's a little grippier. Uh, it is slick, but it's, I don't mean to say it's grippy, but it's a little bit different. Fits perfectly. It just, uh, this, this is a F-150, so it's secured with these bolts here. But uh, 
great, man. I mean, I've had nothing but luck with this. I've never had any issues with it coming loose or anything. So, so hopefully you found that useful. Um, short review, but I wanted to get that out there because uh, three years passed and man, this thing is looking great. Just needs to be cleaned up, but it's an awesome bed liner. So hopefully that helped you guys out.